Hello guys, welcome back to another video. If you don't know how to set up Gmod to Black Mesa, this is what you do to your second drive. Copy all of this, you know, all of this to here. And then save. Save all of it. And then all you have to do, if you have it on your different drive, you go to your second drive where you installed Black Mesa, where you installed Black Mesa. Copy all of this. Copy all of this. Paste it all. Let me see here. Steam. Paste it all into common black mesa all you have to do is paste it all into here if you have it on your c drive and then copy all of the mount cfg copy and paste all of it into here but if you have notepad plus plus all you have to do really is Is go in Notepad plus plus, file open, and then uh, go to your C drive. Uh, go to your Steam. Go to your Steam apps. Common. Gary's mod. Gary's mod. CFG open it into mount CFG and there you go and to change it all you have to do is save session save session and it'll change the notepad it'll change on the notepad I would show you here I could show you right now I could show you right now what it does is this the one that I have? Okay. So all you have to do is save session. And then go to your mount CFG and save it. But I wouldn't do it right now because it'll fix it. It'll fix what people don't know about. So, and then if it's on your second drive, you go to... Steam library, Steam apps, common, black, Ma or not black Mesa, uh, Gary's mod, go to your Gary's mod, CFG, and then you do the same thing over again. You go to the same thing over again. You gotta open, go to second drive, Starfighter pictures, no. Not pictures. Steam library. Steam apps. Common. Gary's mod. Gary's mod. CFG. And then you got to your mount CFG. And then it will open in here. But you don't have to save session because the notepad will automatically change to it. See I'll show you. See if it's in, in here. It will change. It'll change something in here. I'll show you. So if you change something, you add a D here, and then you save, and then see it'll save in here, and then you delete the D, and then you save again. That's how you can tell if it changed or not. See. Ta da and then that's how you export Gmon the Black Mesa. I'll even show you how I did it. This is my second drive thing. I'll show you if the map doesn't load like this. If the map doesn't load like this. But sometimes the map doesn't load the NPCs. So it's fine. 
See, I'll show you here in a second. I have Black Mesa installed. It'll load. Yeah, it'll load. It'll load into Black Mesa. And then I'll show you how I done it. See, it'll, it'll load into the second one. It'll load into Black Mesa. If you have problems with it, it's fine. I have problems with it too. Half Life 2. See all the NPCs, but that one's not sitting. And see, it loads. And if you think about it, if you see any, uh, NPCs and stuff. That means it's good. Like I said, it's perfectly fine. Alright, see you guys later.